talking. I'm going to start recording. Now I'm recording, so don't like cuss out your neighbor or anything because that's how sometimes I'm recording and I'm like, ah. I'll start yelling at my kids and I'm like, crap, I was recording. Sorry. But um, if I was to throw everything at you that you needed to know today, we would be on the phone for 10 hours. Like there's so much stuff that I could teach you because we are a um, very successful team. And if I was to teach you everything, like we literally would be on the phone forever. But I am going to throw a lot of stuff at you right now. But um, you're not expected to know it all today. Um, this is kind of like our initial contact. I'm going to throw stuff, stuff at you. It'll give you time to digest everything. And then we'll meet again in like 10 days and see where you're at. Okay. Okay. So, um, okay. So I am going to just kind of jump into things and then we can um, get on another time and just like chit chat. Um, so that we're not on forever. I know everyone's probably like super exhausted from their busy day, but the first thing that we're going to do and, um, okay. So the first thing we're going to go is we're going to go to, did Suzanne, did you go over the, um, challenge with her and all that stuff yet or no? No, just okay. to kind of watch how the last one was running and, and then the new one starts tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. So we're going to start from scratch. Okay. So the first thing, and you, do you have a pen so you can write stuff down? Yeah. Okay. So the first, and I'm sorry I'm eating like this popcorn. I know it's like super unprofessional, but um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to www.teambeachbody.com. We are not beachbody.com. I mean, we are, but that's not the coach one. So don't ever go to beachbody.com. That's different. We are teambeachbody.com. And when you get to this page, you are going to, um, I'll pretend we don't know, know anything. Um, you are going to log in with your email address and, um, you know, your email address and password you use to order. Okay. Okay. So you do that. I like manage like all these people's accounts, like in my family, cause they don't know what they're doing. That's what all that is. Okay. So then right here, you're going to go to Beachbody on demand. Now, what challenge pack did you sign up with? The um, 21 day six. Awesome. Yay. So. You're going to go to Beachbody On Demand, www, you know, Beachbody On Demand, where I told you to go. Then when you go here, this unlocks your portal for your workouts, okay? Oh, I must be in my husband's. Okay. So this unlocks your, like, workouts. So if you have a smart TV, um, an iPad, your phone, this is kind of like Netflix for, for working out. So all of these workouts are in here. So you have the 21-day fix. And... Um, okay. So let me take a step back for a second. Now, um, you have the, the online portal because you got the 21 day fix one. Um, this online access you have free for 30 days. So you'll want to cancel that, um, from the date of your challenge pack sign up, unless you want to keep your online access, they will bill you $39 every four months. So it's like $10 a month. It's like Netflix. You know what I mean? So um, so that you can have all your workouts. Now the one you have, you have a limited, um, I'm not trying to like sell you stuff. I'm just trying to explain all this. So if you, um, if you want to upgrade it so that you have all the workouts and never have to buy another one, you can upgrade that too. And I think it's like $50, but you don't have to pay then every quarter. You know what I'm saying? So okay. it's cheaper to go ahead and upgrade it and you can upgrade it at any time. So then you have Every single Beachbody workout ever, all the meal plans and all the new ones coming out this year, you'll never have to buy another one. So you can upgrade that at any time. You can cancel the online access and get it later. You could do whatever you want, but I want to make sure you're aware of that because sometimes people will be like, hey, why was I billed that 30 bucks or whatever? And then that, that's why. Um, but you can do like, I get sick of doing the same one. So you can just like jump around and try all different ones. Plus when you're wor working with, um, coaches, I mean, like clients and stuff, it's good to, you know, like if somebody says, Hey, like somebody you meet, they want to like their bodybuilder, I would go to muscle building. It doesn't mean I do them, but I know about them because they're all in here. Okay. You know? So then like, if I was going to do body beast and then somebody's like, can you tell me about it? I mean, I kind of pick my niche. Like my niche is, um, 21 day fix. That's what I always sell to people 
um, or Insanity like Max 30. But, um, and then let me get out of um, this one. We don't want to show that one. Hold on a second. Let me um, go to the 21 day picks one because this is something that we need to go over real quick. Okay, so you go in here. Now you have your book that they sent you. Yes. It has all your stuff in it. So the first the day fix, fix yeah, the the day fix. fix. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. So they sent you that. They sent you the coach book, but that book is like worthless. <laughs> um, okay, so quick start guide. What do we need to do to get started on the 21 day fix? First thing that we have to do is if you have your phone, you can um, do your, did you do your calorie count yet and your like measurements and stuff? No, not yet. I was going to get somebody to okay. do the measurements for me and get everything situated. If you're watching a movie and eating popcorn bell, remember you're not supposed to, um, I got a school computer here. Okay. Did you do your calorie count yet? Not yet, no. Okay. Okay. So, what I want you to do, um, like on your phone, is take what you think your current weight is. Unless you want to tell me and I can do it. Unless you don't want to like, sh you know, some people like me, I like always like keep my like weight secret. <laughs> but, um, so, <laughs> your, so do your weight, do you have your calculator? I do. I'm looking okay. at So your weight times 11. Times 11. That's going to give you your, your amount of calories that you should have, your base. Now, we want to add 400 to that. So plus 400 equals, and then you want to minus 750. And then what did you come up with? This probably is, can't be right. It's okay. So let's do it again because I said it really fast. It's made bigger now. So your weight times 11. Oh, I'm multiplying my 12. That might be why. I'm happy. Okay. So your weight times 11. And then that's going to give you your caloric base. Then okay. So it's 395 times 11. Okay. 395 times 11. Okay. So four, three, four, five. And then you're going to add 400 to that. Then you're going to minus 750. Now, okay. So, it's a lot of calories. Okay, now, the reason- oh, Okay, so it only goes up to a certain level and I stay in that level. So you <laughs> are going, now the reason that, okay, so people get scared when this happens. So now on your piece of paper, I want you to write down seven green, five purple, seven red, five yellow, two blue, one orange, and then six teaspoons. Okay, now, if Suzanne was gonna do hers, she would only be eating between 1,200 and 1,499 calories. Now you might ask yourself, well, if Suzanne um, is, you know, skinny mini, why would she eat less calories? And the problem is, is that when people have, um, what am I doing? Where's my website? Okay. When people have a little bit like more weight to lose, they actually eat more, they're nutrient dense calories. So, so 200 calories of apples is different than 200 calories of potato chips. Okay. So which, which we already know that. And what we find is, is that, let me go back to that we find is is that some people that like say you like you know your weight loss goals might be a little bit higher yeah. um you probably eat less than like suzanne and i do so you have to retrain your body to absorb nutrients and food because a lot of times like my mom for example like i don't know how your relationship is with food but my mom has like 150 pounds to lose and she doesn't eat enough food 
So yeah, when I don't you don't, know. You don't I, eat enough food because you, because we are trained as women and weight loss, like in America, that if we eat less, we lose weight. Well, and in fact, if you eat less, you're going, your body's going to store fat and you're going to work out all the time and you're never going to lose weight. Okay. Yeah. In the past I was doing like, you know, the six small meals a day and then I kind of got off of that mm -hmm. and now I'm seeing the difference, but I never, I always wonder about that because everybody's like, oh, you're supposed to eat more. And I'm like, why would I eat more? Right. And, and the reason, the reason for that is your body has to create what's called a homeostasis, uh -huh. meaning it's got to stay continuous throughout. And if one day you're feeding it what it needs and the next day it's only getting 1,000 calories, it's, if it's 1,000 calories, whether it's good or bad calories, it's going to hold on to that calories because it's like, I don't know when I'm going to regulate out and be the same again. So I'm going to hold on to that. And I, cause I don't know when my homeostasis is going to be met again, as opposed to you keeping the continuous balance of what you're like the amount of calories you need for your body to burn, um, continuously going into there as opposed to it kind of going up and down. Cause I did that. Like I told you, I think I was talking to you where I, like when I was, um, younger I would have one bottle of water and two cookies and that's all I ate all day mm -hmm. so yeah. my body like held on to everything because it never knew when it was going to get the next set of calories in yeah. to keep that energy going or to keep what they call a homeostasis in right. your body if that makes sense and, it, and, and, and you know what as, as far as I've gone in this sometimes and I mean like I'll tell you this guys like but I mean it's not like I mean I don't have an eating disorder but like Sometimes I, I, I like work out and then if I have a, a meal and it's a big meal and it's all healthy, sometimes I feel like I blew my day even though it's healthy and I'm not going to gain weight by eating it. So you got to be careful. Like you got to understand, like I never lost weight before because I've lost about 50 pounds since I've started this because I didn't understand food. Mm -hmm. And once you do this, you're going to be like, wow, I actually ate more than I ever did. But it was like, like, I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're eating seven cups of greens, but I know I didn't when I was trying to lose weight. <laughs> so you got to make sure that you are eating. If it feels like too much food, then get rid of a car, get rid of a carb, which is the yellow and get rid of a fruit, which is the purple. You know what I'm saying? But get all your greens. Um, actually get all, no matter what, get all your greens and all your reds. If you feel like it's too much, you can cut back on like, the, don't you think, Suzanne? Yes. Yeah. Cut back on the fruit or the carbs. Mm -hmm. But when you start doing this, like for me, if I ate like this told me to eat on the lowest calorie bracket and that's all I ate, I would fall over and die because I would be shaky and pass out. So once you're working out every day and you're real, don't you feel like that sometimes, Suzanne? Like it's not sometimes once you get going and your body finds that homeostasis, sometimes it's not enough food. So mm -hmm. you kind of kind of you got to kind of play with it. But until we get you down to, I would say, um, at least, so what is your overall like weight goals? Like, well, my, my goal, my personal goal, what is your personal goal? 199.9. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love it. Now my doctor said she would be happy to see me at 231. She okay. feels like I'm probably going to. How tall are you? I'm only like five, three, five. Five, three and a half. I like to say a half, but it's really like five, That's three. That's how I am. When I was in, in going to college for dance, like you had to be like five, three. And I was like, I'm five, three point two. <laughs> but she said she feels like I probably will plateau at 231 and kind of stay there. I personally want to get the 199.9. Yeah. Yeah. You will. And it's, it's going to happen. Um, you got to be, you, have you started drinking your shakes yet? No, I was shocked at the bag I got. I thought it was going to be like a little teeny sampler bag. It was a, uh, it's a big bag. <laughs> it's a big bag. And you starting tomorrow, you need to start drinking those for a number one, because it's time to, you've only been like a coach for like, like you've only had your stuff for a week, right? The well, bag. I just got it. Oh, you in just got it? Yeah, I just got it in the mail this weekend. I was out of town, so. I open it up this today. All my days run together. Like I feel like you've been on our team for like weeks and I haven't given you any attention and it's been like 48 hours. Right. It's happening now. <laughs> I'm like, wow, Suzanne added another coach. And I'm like, oh, that was the coach from 10 minutes ago. I'm like, what? <laughs> and um, also one thing like that was hard for me when I first started this, Melanie, is if the weight goes up on the scale that first week, don't worry about, don't freak out. I did because I like gained 
Like I took my weight Friday and then Monday morning I was six pounds heavier because I chugged water like crazy, like more than a gallon. I was like, I'm going to kill this water intake. And I held on to it for like a week uh-huh. and I gained six pounds in and three then, days. And I was like, what the heck? This is a bunch of BS. This isn't and, working, but it went away. It all went away. And then it all started even now as the month went on, <laughs> but the water, <laughs> the waterway, which I, um, I see now it's, it's important to get that in, but it might go up there, but just know it's and, just waterway and the working out will take it off. Yeah, and I've been a hundred and you know thirty five pounds in a size ten and a hundred and thirty pounds in a size four. So you we got to go with the measurements. So we mm-hmm. gotta get those measurements and take them. Um, we need those measurements by Friday. So you'll shoot those to Suzanne by Friday, and oh. Suzanne, you'll do a weekly check in with her on those measurements. Um, also, um, since you are trying to get to one ninety five. You can, when you do this program, you can enter to win the $100,000 grand prize. Um, If you document your journey, you want to take before pictures, like in a sports bra and like whatever, hide them away because that's what everyone does. They're before pictures. Nobody likes taking before pictures. And then you got to save them. So when you have your results, you're like, look at me, look what I accomplished like, because for me as a coach, when after I had my son, like I was 176 and I'm only five, like, you know, like five, two, five, three ish. Um, I didn't have a lot of, I wish I had documented some of that stuff because I wasn't a coach yet. So take, even if you don't put it anywhere or whatever you want to do, like a lot of people don't, but you're like super outgoing and your like page is amazing. So, um, you know, make sure you document it because, you know, like some people don't. So make sure you do. Okay. So enough of that. Now let me go to the challenge really quick. And I'm already taking way too long. Like I have so much stuff to teach you. Sorry. Okay. Um, okay. So then we go to the now or never challenge. And basically <laughs> I told our coaches to like stop commenting and this like girl's not a coach and she's probably like, where did everyone go? Um, Okay, so every day, let me go back to an old post. There now, a lot of people just keep posting things like me, I'm like hmm. okay, Deidre. Okay, now a lot of people post stuff about like fitness and nutrition, which is great. I don't even know what I was doing this morning. That one. Um. Oh, that's good, Susan. Michelle. Wow, we are okay. So there'll be a post that has like this red emoji. So there can be like one, two, three emojis, whatever. You guys can see my Facebook, right? Yes. Sometimes I go through this whole thing and then the people go, I never saw your screen. I'm like, really? I talked for like an hour and you didn't see anything. Anyway. (laughs) Um, So when you see this post that has the red circle, you are going to read. That's the challenge for the day. You are going to comment on it. And you are going to tag Suzanne. So you say, like, if it says, what is one way you're going to love yourself today? And you say, I'm going to love by myself by accepting all my imperfections, whatever you want to come up with. You could just be like, I'm going to love myself because I'm going to drink extra water, whatever it is. And then you tag Susan. Then at the end of three to four weeks, depending, I think I cut this one short a week because I don't know. I don't know what I did. But you're going at the end of three to four weeks, we tally up all the points and then we give prizes um, to the winners. So it's super fun. Mm-hmm. Then once you complete this, this is New Year, New You. And the next one is going to be the um, bombshell like bathing suit challenge after now or never. Once you complete two of those, you move up to the graduate. And the graduate is an ongoing group where we put people that you start tracking your own points. We read personal development books. Um, And this is like the, like, you know, this is where people move up to once they go through two of the other challenges. So you move up to that. And then once you're out of this one, we're, I think we're doing three or four rounds. There's a next, (laughs) there's a next step up from there too. And then, um, okay. So now, I have a lot of groups. Um, Okay. Now, that is the first thing. 
The second thing that I want to show you is the March Coach Basics. Now, have you done any homework in here yet? No, not yet. Okay, now. Am I on this one? I don't think so. I, I thought I added you in there. Is she not? Um, maybe, I saw my name. No, I'm not on there. Oh, I may have added you somewhere maybe else. You added her to the posting training. That's where I saw her. Okay. Yeah. 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 I didn't uh, know what to do with I that. You there. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. It's like you don't see. Sorry. It's only my like second or third month. I'm still learning, Melanie. For kids, okay. Give me. <laughs> Does it? I mean, more information's good. So that's awesome that you are there. That's perfect. Okay. Now. She's already got the posting thing down, though. She's awesome. So good with that. now, and you may not even need the posting training. Now, this is going to be a little annoying for you, Melanie, but we've got to get you caught up, okay? So, on your piece of paper, your homework is, is it, this one started March 20th, so you're seven days behind, but the assignments take <laughs> five minutes. Um, and it's not a big deal. Now, we can either, A, start you over in this one in two weeks, which I think that would be the best bet to do this one in two weeks because I have a lot more stuff I can throw at you. So let me, um, Susan, can you write down to remind me mm -hmm. that starting, um, starting. So don't do this one? No. Okay. April 10th. April 10th, we are going to start another Coach Basics. And so add. So add Melanie to Coach Basics starting on March 10th. And I'll put the, I have to make the March, I mean, April 10th. And Coach Basics. Okay. Okay, now, but that's not a big deal. It doesn't, it doesn't matter because my, I mean, what do I do if I sign a coach up like this week and then this already started? Like, I have no way to keep people on track. So don't worry. Don't worry, girl. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Just enjoy the first month of the challenges. Yeah, right now, like you really just do your challenges and enjoy yourself. Like you don't have to worry about really anything else. Now, the next thing I want to show you is this is our coach group. There's, there's, yeah. actually, there's actually six coach groups, but you were added into the Fit Crew Boom Empire group. Once you become an emerald, you stay in this group, but you go into the um, the Boom family, and you're a part of the um, Boom Empire family, and there's 514 of us in that one. So that's where you'll be going, Susan. Yeah. Okay. Um, which is really cool, because then you're get to you're gonna get to like meet like more people and like know more about like people on our team. Um, it's like you unlock a portal. <laughs> um, okay. So. All right, now, the next thing that I wanna show you is, now if you're doing the 21 day fix, Melanie, and somebody asks you to give them more information on it, and you sent them a promo about the 21 day fix, 99.9% .9 of the time they're gonna tell you no, 99.9% .9 of the time. So, um, have you ever made a um, YouTube video? <laughs> Yeah, I have a YouTube channel, actually. You know? I'm <laughs> I know so funny that you're like, ahead of the game in that. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Okay, now, what you can do is, um, that's awesome you have a YouTube channel. She, she, you're probably like. It's called, it's, there is no edge. That's so awesome, because you're probably like, if she only knew who I was. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. What you'd want to do is on here, and I'm going to tag you. Okay. This is the, this is like this, like if I had a script and I was going to tell somebody more about it, and Suzanne, you need to do this too. I know. I'm so nervous. Yeah. You got to do it because I, I'm like the nutty professor, and I'm like gave everyone homework, and you can't hide from me. <laughs> I'm like, you are going to make your own. So this video that I made is me explaining about what the challenge is, the behind the scenes. 
when you make the video, you want to show them, you know, the, um, you want to show them the now or never challenge. What is it? You want to show them the beach body on demand. What is it? So when your friends and the people that you're talking to, Melanie, like so you're talking to people online mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, that's awesome. I want to do it. Tell me more. Then you say, here's a little video about me. And then you're like, hey guys, we've just talked about your um, fitness goals. And I'd love to share more with you about the behind the scenes of what an actual challenge group looks like with me. See what I'm saying? Okay. So then you record yourself. Now, I would suggest making a Zoom link, which you already have. So you, you email your, you know, you send yourself a link. You know how to do Zoom. You just send yourself, like, do you know how to do Zoom? No. Okay. I just click on the link that you send. So, okay. so I've, you Zoom. Done, I've been on other people's Zoom, but I never did it with myself. Like. You go to Zoom. It'll, it'll, this lady is driving me nuts. Okay. Now I know how it is when I want people to buy stuff from me. Because she's like asking 45 times to buy this collagen. <laughs> like, I'm going to get it. Just let me think. Okay, so you go to Zoom, and then it says start, there, like there's a box on there, and it says start a meeting. So you just start a meeting, and then it's just going to be your face. And then you hit record on the bottom, and then you hit share screen. And then it's going to pop up for you to share a screen. And then all your people, like you are going to go to the side like the Brady Bunch. Like your face will jump to the side, and then kind of how we are. And then you'll be able to show people and record yourself a three-minute video about and you don't even have to know about the challenge yet. It's like at the Super Awesome Challenge, we take you through your measurements, weight loss plan, giveaway prizes. Um, the group is Boom Empire. We are one of the top Beachbody teams, and I'd love to take this journey with you. Here's a little inside look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then Zoom is going to save it. It's going to give you a link. If you get lost doing this, I'll help you later. I'm just kind of throwing it at you right now. Then you open up the file. You save it to the desktop. And then you upload it to YouTube. YouTube generates you a link because you can't send people the Zoom link. So you yeah. upload the video you make to YouTube, generates the link, and then you put it in the script. So people are like, hey, I want to know more. Then you, um, you know, send them more information. And then um, this is about the challenge. Here's a little bit about Shakeology. Here's a little bit about the meal plans. And I'm not going to read this all to you, but you can read it um, later. But it's like, how do you follow up with somebody? Because what's going to happen is you're going to send people information and then they're going to ignore you. And then you say, hey, I'm not trying to be a pest. I'd love to follow up with you. What did you like about it? Maybe now is not the right time. Maybe I can add you to my free group. Um, the free group, will you already have, do you have a fitness group or do you just have a like page and a YouTube channel? I have a like page and um, I have a... I have both. I have all three, I guess you would say. I have a Your 30 Day Challenge page, which is a free group. Anybody can join. It's it's free, but it's still closed because... Right. People all go, go in there and mess with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I didn't want... and People like and, me will go in there and take all your friends. Well, originally when I did it, I put my pictures out there too. Mm -hmm. And I wanted other people to feel comfortable putting their pictures out. So I made the group close because I didn't want anybody to feel That's how our groups are too because otherwise people like, can you add me to that so I can see it? Uh -huh. I'd love to see what you have going on there. That sounds awesome. So then, okay, so let me take a step back. So you have this script. You can make a separate one or you can keep building that one. So now there's a script. There's that little thing you do. Okay, now. If you go on your laptop and you go here, there's a files tab and there's like a bunch of documents in here. Now, I am in the process of taking all these documents. Also, if we get clicked off I, in eight minutes, I probably need you guys to jump on for a second because I'm, I'm not done yet, but I'll go as fast as I can. I sent you, I will send you this. Hold on, I need to make myself a note. And Actually, Suzanne, can you send her that information I sent you, which was the training site in that script? I sent it to you today. Yes. Okay. So, um, so now I'm in the process of building this whole team training site, which is totally awesome. This has been taking me like half my life to do. So this right here, I want you to go to this page and it's called 
boomempiretrainingsite.com. So this is kind of like your online class. Okay, then the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna watch this getting started right video that is right here. Now, Suzanne, when I went over, when I trained you, mm -hmm. I explained to you everything on the website, how to set up your, your direct deposit, all that. I recorded myself doing it, so that's really important that you watch this video right here, Melanie, because it explains to you how to set your direct deposit, how to use your Beachbody website and all of that stuff. But that'll save us like another hour because then you can do that on your own. Unless you want me to go over it all with you now, it's up to you. Let me know. Um, I started. If I have questions, I'll shoot you a message okay. or I'll call Suzanne. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's really I'm a, I gotta put my hands on it first. <laughs> like, I need to, yeah, I'm a tour and then I can kind of catch on from there. So, if okay. I get out there, awesome. Yeah, and it's not hard stuff, it's just like you got to find time to like get in it, you know? It's like, eh. okay, so coach basics is right here at the top. That is the first one that you're gonna do. So, when you go here. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to listen to the call. That's the one, the getting started right call. Then, Suzanne, did you send her that welcome email? Yes. Okay. Then you have the welcome email, which is a nightmare email. Um, you, know, you could, you just save that email. Don't even deal with it. Just put it in your back pocket for a little bit. Okay. Now we got rid of that because that email's like a headache. Okay. Now you have the business quick start guide. So I've, see, you didn't have any of this, Suzanne. No. I recently, like, got my life together more. Um, and I always put myself down, but just to give you, like, confidence, like, um, I am ranked 200 out of 450,000 coaches. So if I'm like, man, I don't know what I'm doing, like, don't get scared. Like, I really got to die. <laughs> don't freak out, guys. I may seem unstable and really unstable, but I do know what I'm doing a little bit. All right. So business quick start guide, you click on this. And everything is hyperlinked here. So Suzanne, you're probably like, oh, I want to start over. Yeah. And then um, you have that. So you fill that in. 30-day okay. action plan. What are you going to do for the next 30 days? I became a coach. Why? So you want to start a notebook. In the first 30 days, my goal is to help how many people join the challenge group? I would say three. Um, you want to make how much money in commission? So for me, I wanted to make, when I first started, at least $50 a week. That was my goal. I wanted to sell one, help one, and we don't really say sell because I feel like it works. People, they sell, we change lives. There's a difference. Because whether you buy from me or not, like we're still going to be friends and you can be in my group, you know? Yeah. Um, all right. So posting on your social media, which is not a problem for you at all. But one of the things that I would focus on is, and this is one of the big things I do, it's called attraction marketing. Attraction marketing, attraction marketing is when you like, okay, so your fitness, like you, there's no edge. Like I have never, not really followed you yet, but I'm super excited to, if I was just to talk about fitness and nutrition all the time, it's going to eventually for me, it's going to become white noise. So by the time people actually buy something from me, it's not because they're dying to spend $200. They're buying something from me because they watched my strange diagnosis video earlier where I talked about how I almost had brain surgery and I really had an abscess tooth or I talk about how when I had my second child how people were like weren't you so happy to have another child and women don't say this but for me I wasn't happy I was kind of postpartum and I was sad because I was okay with one kid you know like you know like you don't have to say stuff like that like I like you know I I talk about how I like to travel or how I mean I love my kids now but I'm saying like that first moment like it's hard for someone <laughs> um or like, um, you know, so, so I think about things for me that are important, like family, um, family is important. Um, I like to have appetizers and wine. Like I, I like wine. I'm not, you know, having wine all the time, but those are things that I post about, talk about, like church is important. My kids are important. My family, like those are the things. So you want, so you want to attract people because if you're just posting about, 21 day fix it builds up walls and it get it builds up so people are like well i better not talk to her because she's going to sell me something okay you know what i mean and it's mm -hmm. kind of hard to like to break that wall so by the time you get to the point where you invite them to a challenge they're comfortable with it because they like you 
Okay. okay. Um, so that's all here. Um, so I started a notebook. You're like, you're probably like, what did I get myself into? And this isn't a race. Like I'm just going all over with you. Shake sharing guide, um, review your coach basics. Um, so launch phase. So see how I broke it down into different days. So this is coach welcome. Your why, why are you doing this? And then I did a quote for the day. He, um, he who has a why can endure any how. So your, your weight loss goal, why it's going to be hard. You're going to have days when you want to give up, but you have a strong why a fitness why and a possible financial why so you can endure anyhow nothing can stop you but there's going to be days when you're not going to feel like doing it there's going to be days where i don't want to help people there's going to be days where i don't want to get on these calls and help anybody i just want to go lay in my bed but i'm doing it because i want to be able to afford my choices i don't want to be that sad anxiety ridden victim anymore and i'm and that's why i do it you know so you got to really dig deep and understand like why are you doing it you don't have to like tell me or whatever. Um, so you have a lesson. So I broke this down into lessons every day. Do you know your why? And then you do these questions and you, so build your story. You got to build a story. People, people don't like anybody that's perfect. You know, like people, if I just was like, Hey, I woke up and I feel freaking great and I'm going to win the day. Everyone's going to hate me. Okay. They're going to be like, this girl doesn't get me. But I can talk about, you know what, I got up this morning, but I remember a day when I couldn't get up and I would lay in bed and I would tell myself I'm going to do it. And I felt like a complete failure and how that felt, you know, or now today I'm confident and I'm, you know what I'm saying? So you got to, you don't have to tell everybody all your business, but you breadcrumb it. So breadcrumbing is where you engage your viewers with little bit by little bit to keep them coming back. Okay. And I think I told like a little bit of my story on YouTube but not like yeah and it's good to tell a little bit a little bit um you know and some days some days i you know like one day i went out there like i have a brother who's in prison you know like it affects me like I, it does and then but i don't you know go out there and say like that to an extent but i i talk about what it feels like to have a sense of loss um and and i work out every day because that gives me something that i can control and it gives me a sense of to keep going because I have so much pain inside. I can either working out is hard, but being pain is hard too. And I have to choose my hard. So, um, you know what I'm saying? Like crossing a threshold, having a defining moment. So anyway, this is broken down and we're going to get clicked off. And then I need you guys to click back on for a second. This is broken down into lessons. Um, this will keep you busy. So don't worry that you're not in coach basics. Um, Okay, good. My husband's finally home. He was at soccer for like the company soccer game. The